Agon, Agon, Agon. Yes. Happy eight month anniversary. <gasps> Even no though, better way I love to spend it than beating your butt. Even though I'm gonna beat you and you have to buy me Yeezys, I just wanna say that I love you. You're scared though. I'm not scared. Bro, you were about to get it. I'm getting those Yeezys. drive right now we're in the middle of doing our intro welcome back welcome back to the, here we are we're back <laughs> if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and, and click the bell to turn on our post notifications Period. what's up everybody it's been a very crazy week for both corinne and i today i got off early and we decided to just get dinner have some snacks watch some movies i'm very excited for dinner we're going to Buffalo Wild Wings. My favorite place to get food from on this diet. I love extra crispy chicken wings with dry rubs and ranch. It's Corinne sticks to what she sticks to, but I'll get a bunch of different sauces. <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. I get a bunch of different sauces. If you only put a little bit on, you still get that flavor. You know, it's something you can switch up a lot, but still eat all the time. If all goes well, we're so hungry, we will go to Walgreens. Walgreens is the plug for keto snacks. I have a sweet tooth. She has a sweeter tooth. They have so much sugar-free stuff. I've <gasps> never had a sweet tooth before either. I loved salty, salty, salty all the time. Like, I didn't eat a lot of sweets. At the end of the 30-day challenge, we're leaving, and we're going somewhere for my birthday. So... During that trip, we will compare sweet tea on sweet tea. Fake sugar drink, real sugar drink. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And see if your preferences have changed because mine definitely did. So if you guys like that idea, let us know in the comments. We are gonna go get dinner. Let's go get this chicken. B-dubs, baby. I'm trying to walk in your shadow. I don't want you in my shadow. Get in the light, girl. Shine on. It's insanely busy, so we had to sit at the bar. If they had mango car, we'll split it. I'm gonna get fireball, just kidding. Fireball? <laughs> Tell me something. I haven't been this excited for Buffalo Wild Wings in a minute. Which one do you like more, the lemon pepper or the salt the, and vinegar? Mmm, salt and vinegar. This is our bunless burger. It's supposed to have avocado and bacon. It doesn't have either one of those. This is our salad. This is the no pile. This is like a sea experience right now. I'm super, super full. I am also super, super full. But I'm taking Corinne to go to Walgreens. We're gonna go get snacks. See you in a little bit. I don't remember where I parked. I'm excited to see what this Walgreens has in store. <laughs> oh my god. Reese's peanut butter cups are always a go-to. Nips are for sure. They have zero grams. Oh, it's the the dark chocolate pecan delights have 17 grams of carbs, 12 of sugar alcohol, and two of dietary fiber, which means there's in three and two pieces. two pieces. So one and a half a piece. The toffees only have one. That means I'm gonna get two. <laughs> Ten in these? That is a no go, Warmers. Oh, the gummy bears? None. Zero. Zero. Two for six. I really wanna look at ice cream. No, what? we shouldn't. We have the weigh in tomorrow. Yeah, let's see what else they have. Show the people what we're working with. One. One gram and two links. So if you're looking for something <laughs> like beef jerky, these are the best. I want Dr. Pepper. Obviously, the aspartame is not the best for you, but I haven't had soda in months, so we're doing it tonight. Oh, I'm cheating. One gram. And how much? Two tablespoons. And there's 37 tablespoons. I'm not going to eat this whole fucking thing. <laughs> oh, oh, wait. Here, here. Oh, we can make like a, a diet pepper float. A giant pepper flip. Nailed it. 
Welcome to Corinne and Megan's Keto Horror Stories. <laughs> Once upon a time, two girls decided to do a keto challenge and everybody told them that it was dangerous. What was dangerous about it? It's really bad for their health and their organs. Especially the kidneys. The first thing that we heard a lot of is that eating that much fat cannot possibly be good for you. People are saying basically that the amount of fat that we are ingesting is dangerous for our body, especially the kidneys, because we're also supposedly eating an increased amount of protein. However, the keto diet is not a high protein diet. It's a high fat diet, moderate protein, low sugar and carbs. Thanks for your concern. Our kidneys are totally fine. Another one. Well, I heard keto slows down your metabolism and makes you like super bloated. There's two parts to that statement that I've heard very frequently. One, that ketosis causes inflammation, and the second, that it slows your metabolism. If you're eating bacon and processed cheese every single day, yeah, you're probably gonna get a little bloated. You should trade that out with some asparagus, maybe some spinach, a little bit of tuna salad, salmon, avocados. There's a ton of amazing ways to get good fats and not eat processed cheeses, low quality meats. The second part of that is it slows down your metabolism. That is just absolutely wrong. Like, I don't know how else to say it. It's totally wrong. High carbohydrate diets slow down your metabolism. It causes insulin to be produced and your insulin slows down your ability to lose fat and to use fat for fuel. So if you are reducing the amount of carbohydrates you eat, you are reducing the amount of insulin that's being produced in your body, and therefore your body can then begin processing the fats for energy instead. Voila. What you got to say? I was just gonna say that if your body can run off of fat and function while burning it, why would you eat something to slow down the process? You're a genius, baby. Keto is biohacking your system. Somebody basically compared it to upgrading your software on your phone. Like way, way, way back in the day, people weren't eating processed foods and processed sugars. The Neanderthals were literally eating meat and like vegetables and our body knows how to adapt and run off fat for fuel. So why you would put a bunch of carbs and sugar in your body that your body has to convert makes zero sense. Mm -mm -mm. And another one. Keto just isn't sustainable long term. You'll end up gaining everything back and then you'll be skinny fat. I did keto, very, very strict keto for nine months last year. I lost 50 pounds. And then I took maybe three months off and I gained nine pounds out of the 50 back over the course of three months, me eating whatever I wanted. Keto reduces your cravings. It speeds up your metabolism. You're not gonna be as hungry and you're gonna have a ton more energy. Like if you are actually resetting your metabolism, getting skinny fat, or gaining all of that back is most likely not gonna happen. Now that the real tea about keto has been spilled, we're gonna go eat our keto snacks and get ready for tomorrow's weigh-in. Tomorrow we find out who's winning. It's gonna start getting competitive. Two, You've seen our other videos. Two weeks closer to a new pair of Yeezys or Naked Wolves, but right now, we feasting. Mm -hmm. That was probably two carbs max. And totally worth it. Delicious. See y'all in a bit. What up? All right, today is our check-in. It's the 15th of August, which also means that it is eight months that Megan and I have been dating. So I just got to her job. I picked her up some sunflowers and roses. I am shy, so I'm not gonna bring them into her job. I'm gonna wait to give them to her. So let's go grab her, give her the flowers, check in and get our BMIs tested. I've been working hard. I've been fasting. I've been drinking a lot of water. I've done some push-ups. so hopefully I'm winning. So cute. Thanks, Happy eight months. <laughs> 
Love you. I love you. Thank you, thank you. Welcome. Found her. I got flowers. She got her flowers. I got some new brands. Show them what you did. You know, I can't be looking raggedy, especially not on our eight month. Halfway through, how do you feel? So much better. I've been waking up at like 6.37 every morning, awake, ready to get up, excited to go to work. I have not been waking up with a lot of energy. I've actually been up super late at night. I'm on my normal schedule. I wake up around 10 and then I go till like 4 a.m. She is asleep by 10 p.m. and up at 6 a.m. So let's go see how our bodies are doing. See y'all at NutriShop. You ready? Yeah. Let's do this. Ooh, the doors are black for it. Yeah. Justin, you can use this. Four eleven. You cut yourself short. Five foot point five. Oh. <laughs> I grew an inch. What's that flying machine? You gotta line your heels and your feet up with the sensors. There's sensors right here. I want you to wrap your fingertips around that sensor. Land your thumb on the center of the electric. I'm nervous. Don't be nervous. Twenty-four point six. So it went down a lot. Yeah. Good. Five. Five percent. Yeah. Five nine. Did you know you were 5'9"? I did. So, I'm down. What were you? 169 is what I was. Now you're 167. A little bit further. Go. Apply a little pressure to the handles. Hold this pose for about 30 seconds. today as you saw and we got our two-week checkup lots and lots of really great results i didn't think i was gonna do that good most people expect to just lose weight right out of the gate on keto right that's how it works for everybody I lost a pound and a half over two week period. Doesn't sound so great. I gained a pound. So typically you would think that those are not good results, but when you look a little further, we got some really good information. So looking at mine specifically, when I first weighed in, I weighed 169 pounds. When I went in today, I weigh 167.5 pounds. When I got there, I weighed 109.5 pounds. And today, I weigh 110.3. Looking at our pounds of fat, I started out at 49.8 pounds of weight on my body, all being fat. Today, 42.3 pounds of my body is fat, which is down seven and a half pounds of fat. Even though I only lost a pound and a half of comprehensive weight i lost seven and a half pounds of fat so when i first did it my body fat weight was 32.4 so i went from 32.4 to 27.2 so you're down 5.2 pounds my skeletal muscle mass started out at 66.6 pounds today 69.9 pounds 69.9 you know we upgraded oh my god <laughs> way better than 666 <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you were 66.6. 66. Oh, I thought that 6. was a joke. No. Now I'm 69.9. Wow, that's amazing. I know. So I gained 3.3 pounds of muscle, which turns out it was in my legs. My skeletal muscle mass was 41.4, and now it is at... 45 so that is 3.6 trunk what's the trunk is that your butt that's your no your trunk i almost called a trunk yeah what about like junk in the trunk <laughs> <laughs> no that's not it so yeah ultimately this is what you really want to know right both of us started at 29.5 percent fat on our bodies i ended up at 25.3 which means that i lost 4.2 percent body fat in a two-week period Pretty good. I went from 29.5 to 24.6. So although she gained weight, she has lost more percentage of body fat than I have. I gained more muscle. She lost more percentage body fat. 
I lost more weight. So we are very, very, very close. There's no one way to determine who is the overall winner. We may just take it to the people. We may also up. just give you guys a vote when we post our before and after pictures. And if you don't pick me, I'm not posting no more videos. You're such a sore loser. We will post our progress pictures next so you can see where we started, where we're at. All right, so we figured out that we are gonna have some health professionals look at the information and let us know who they think is one and we'll do best two out of three on that, so easy. This is a public service announcement. We by no means think that we are keto professionals, nutritionists, or doctors. But we're also not uneducated. We've done the research and this is what we know for sure. Keto is used to treat epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, Alzheimer's, did I say type two diabetes, some forms of cancer, and a ton of other things. If you guys want to learn more about that, two people that I watch, Dr. Eric Berg and Thomas DeLauer, either one of them have a bunch of videos and you can get more information there. Before we go, if you haven't already, do what you know you wanna do, like, Comment, subscribe. Hit that bell to get the notifications for when we post and when we go live. And I think that's about it. Everyone have a lovely night.